Hello, friends. How you doing? Welcome back to Spark. Mr. C here. First thing I want to do is to let you know how I impressed I impressed I am at this group as to how hard you've been working and some of the amazing things that you've been turning in for me to see. I couldn't be more proud of you, and I want you to keep up the great work. Can't wait to meet you in person. That'll happen soon, I hope. So today we're going to put away um, what we've been learning about, and that was introdu introducing ourselves to our Chromebooks. And we're going to move on to a new unit called Float and Sync. And basically what this is, is we're going to understand, we're going to try to understand a little bit about the things that are around us and why some things float and why some things sink. So first thing I want to do is to remind everybody that this present key, if you click on it, you'll go full screen. If you want to get out of it, you want to hit that escape button up on up over there, down there. And, um, and that will get you out of present screen. And then you can work, you can do some things with, within the slide. Remember yesterday you were working on your making your own Chromebook and you were moving the different icons around, you couldn't be in present mode to do that. Well, we're going to do that a lot. So if you ever get stumped and you say, why won't, why won't this do anything? Oh, hit that escape key and you'll be in good shape. I'm going to do that right now. Welcome to Float and Sync. And I want to tell you a little bit about what's going on here. First of all, this is where I'm going to be, so don't worry about that. First, I want to introduce you to my little friend, my little Lego guy over here. My little Lego worker, you're going to see my little Lego worker on any slide where you have to do something. So if I'm going to ask you to move something around or do something like that, there's going to be a little Lego guy on there. If you remember this from yesterday, he was on there yesterday too. So keep an eye out for my little Lego guy. If you see him, say to yourself, I have to do something with this slide. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is, look over here. You see this little guy over here? I, I'm going to be narrating the slides. So if you are in present mode, it's going to automatically, you're going to automatically hear me read the screen for you. Okay, if you're not in present mode, it won't do it automatically. You have to come over here and hover over it and then click this little button right here. And, and I'll start reading to you. So as we get into this, some of these words are going to be a little bit hard. So I'm going to narrate these for you. And um, you will learn what these words mean because that's part of this lesson is understanding some of these words. All right. So look for those two things. This is we're going to talk a little bit about what matter is. And I will describe it right here. And I will again, I will read this to you. So don't skip over everything. This is going to tell you about the different states of matter. I don't mean like Pennsylvania state or New Jersey state. I mean the different forms of, of matter. It comes in three different forms. Actually four, but we'll learn about that later. But the three biggies you're going to learn about, solid, liquid, and vapor or gas. Okay, so I'll read this to you. The next thing is there's a fun little movie here that talks about the states of matter. So watch this movie. You'll learn a lot from this movie. And then I want you to go on a little scavenger hunt around your house. And again, I'll read this to you. I want you to go on a scavenger hunt around your house. And I want you to see if you can find matter in your home. Okay, so look at the pictures below and go find them. Here's all things that you should have around your house. If you can find them, then when you come back here, now I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to get out of this. And when you find them, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a circle and you're going to cover it. There you go. I found some books in my house. Oh, did I find a phone in my house? Oh, my goodness. Yes, I did. I'm going to cover that one. All right. So when you are done your scavenger hunt around your house, come back to your computer and then move those circles over to all the things that you found. Now, I am going to I'm not going to leave it like this. So I'm going to use my best friend, the undo key over here. See this guy over here? See my where my finger is? 
I'm going to click that and look, magically those circles are going to move back. So if you ever do something you don't mean to do, or if you make a mistake or you move something, sometimes moving things can be kind of hard. You pull the wrong thing over. Just let it go. Go back and hit undo and it'll start all over again. Okay. All right. Now, the last thing is a little bit of a song through uh, called uh, Matter Chatter. So play along, play this and, and sing along with it if you want. The words are there. Now, the very last thing that I want to go over with you is what Frozone has to say here. Okay. I would love to see the matter that you found around your house. So I want you to go back to Google Classroom and click turn in. That is the only way that I can see what you've done. So you're going to move those slides back here on slide six. You're going to move those circles around. And then you're going to go back to Google Classroom and you're going to click turn in. Okay. And then I'll get to see all the amazing things you found around your house. Okay. All right. So nice job. Keep up the great work. Great introduction to matter. We're going to be doing a lot of things with matter and states of matter, and then eventually getting into floating and sinking. So see you tomorrow.